Hello guys and welcome to this video with me Code Reese. I hope you're all doing really well. So in today's video we're going to take a look at the register or as it's more commonly known the DeepLine Playmaker. We'll take a look at what the role is and some of the ways it can be used. As always I will leave timestamps and chapters below. Let's get started. So what is it? Well, as we've just mentioned, the register is a deep lying playmaker. They're the same role, they're just a different name. So the register will be found at the base of our midfield. It's a specialised role, so it's not a defensive midfielder, nor is it an attacking midfielder who's dropping deep. The role requires a player who is a passing specialist, and because of this, they will be used to dictate how the team attack. They will be the team's link player between defence and attack. They will also attempt more complex passes, so we may see the player attempt to break lines, or they may play switches of play to remove the team from an area of congestion. Pirlo is probably the most iconic register, but an example from today's game is Rodri. So we can find a register in a single pivot, and Although not their primary role, when in a single pivot, the register will be required to complete some defensive duties. This is because they will be the only player in front of the two centre-backs. We can also find a register in a double pivot. And when in a double pivot, we will often see them paired with a defensive midfielder. And the role of the defensive midfielder will be to alleviate any defensive duties from the register that we may have seen when they were in a single pivot. So, as we've just mentioned, the register is the team's link between defence and attack. So during build-up, we will initially see the register create that diamond between the goalkeeper, two centre-backs and themselves. In an ideal world, the register will be looking to receive behind the first line of the opposition press and ideally from the goalkeeper and at least one of the two centre-backs. This gives the team multiple options to get the ball into our register, who can hopefully turn and begin to progress the team forward. So as the team progress forward, the role of the register is to control and dictate how the team attack. This initially can be done by just controlling the tempo. So it might be the team are in a situation where they need to play forward quickly or they may be in a situation where actually we need to just slow down and build. Another option that we have is we may look to have the register play more complex passes and utilise their technical ability to break lines. So we may see the register attempt to play in the team's more attacking players. So it might be a case of we've got an attacking midfielder between the opposition's defensive and midfield lines that we need to release, and that will be the role of the register. It might also be the case that we need to switch the ball from an area of congestion. So if the left side's quite busy, we might need to play into the right side of the pitch where we've got a free player. And this will be the role of the register. So we might see what we call a pivot switch. So the ball will come from the left side into our register who's in a pivot position, who will then play out to the right side into our free player. So with this in mind, the register needs to be really comfortable playing passes of varying complexity and playing these passes under pressure because they will be the key player in how the team build and how the team progress forward. Along with this, really good decision making because once we start to add complexity to passes, this is where the chance of failure increases. So they need to recognise when and where to play these more complex passes that might break lines. So during transition, this doesn't matter whether our register is in a single pivot or a double pivot, they will need to take up positions centrally. This is to potentially slow down opposition's attack or force them wide, so that we can have recovering players regain the structure. So once the team have settled into their out of possession structure, the role of the register is quite simple and they will just need to screen the two centre-backs and stop any potential passes being played beyond them into the team striker or attacking midfielders who are trying to be situated between 
our defensive line and our midfield line. So what's the main advantage of a register? Well, the player offers the team a controlling influence. And with this controlling influence, we can decide how we want to play. It might be a tempo change or it might be a location change. And this can be really helpful for a team. Also, with their technical ability and their passing range from deep areas, it can be really helpful when playing against a deep or low block because we will need those passes coming from deeper areas that will be quite complex into our attacking players so that we can release them. And this is where we can really utilize that deep line playmaker or register's passing range. So what are the main disadvantages of a register? Well, the role requires a player of a very specific profile. This isn't something that every midfielder can do. Within this, we'll need players who are technically really competent with really good passing ranges, along with decision making, and everything that's involved with having a player who's going to control and dictate the team's attack. And so, depending on that profile, the register may require support, and they may require support to fulfill defensive duties. So this is where we might see a register used in a double pivot alongside a defensive midfielder who's going to be able to take on the responsibility of all the defensive duties of a player who will be at the base of a team's midfield. So that is the register or deep line playmaker. Remember, they're the same player, it's just a different name. We've taken a look at what it is, how it can be used, and some of the advantages and disadvantages of using a register or deep line playmaker. If you did enjoy the video or found it useful, I do have a Kofi page if you'd like to support me in the channel. As always, remember to like, comment and subscribe. I've been Coach Reese, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.